Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be building this um, kit, which is supposed to be a flashlight. I got this from banggood.com, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll put it all in the description. So it'll be in, down below in case you know you want to buy it, want to build it yourself as well. And let's see what it came with. It doesn't look like it came with instructions. I don't think it's in here. Nope. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Well, I mean, I kind of know, kind of know, but not 100% sure. There's no instructions, so we're just going to go with it. It shouldn't be that complicated. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start with the resistors. You see, the one with the green is the 510, and then, and then this red one is the 20K. So I'm going to go ahead and solder the 510 ohm resistor. The soldering is not the best, but it's okay, it'll do. All right, so now the 20K resistor is next. So let's, let's go ahead and put that in. And I'll be back once I solder this one. All right, so these are done. So ugly but I'm barely learning how to solder so this is just helping me get experience with that all right so next we're gonna go ahead and add the capacitor which goes right here now it's time to solder this right here so there's two of these but they're different I don't know if you can actually see there's a number right there I don't know if it detects it but yeah this one's gonna go right here in this side the 8550 okay All right, so now that's done. Now we're gonna go ahead and add, let's see, what should we do? 
I think I'm going to hit it with this now, which I'll go to right here. And then I'm going to bend this over just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and solder. Alright, so next I'm going to go ahead and add this button. Instead of putting it, bending the metal parts in here. I'm gonna go ahead and solder it. But one thing I messed up, honestly, and I should say this, if you guys wanna do this, you should wait and before you add, you should add the button first before you add this right here. Because that, it was really hard to actually put it in after. All right, so that's done. As you can see, I soldered it in, even though it looks so ugly. <laughs> And now we're gonna go with the LED. And if you notice, the one's longer than the other one. And there's a positive and a negative side. So the positive one is always is always a longer one, and the negative is always a short one. So you just go ahead and put it in there. And we're gonna bend this over. see what happens right now all right so it took me not gonna lie a while just to put this together all right so I added that and that look it looks so ugly look at that but I was able to add it finally and it's all done now we're gonna go ahead and put it in here Let's see what happens. I need a battery. In case still didn't turn on. See if it fits. Perfect. Let's see, this is the moment of truth. work perfect so this is the oh the button got stuck well oh it's right here gonna need something to poke it out <laughs> okay there we go that maybe a little better all right but this is it and if you guys want to build something like this I'm gonna put it down in the description so you guys can purchase it so yeah so I just realized something I forgot to add this so this goes right here and then which helps it so yeah don't forget to add this which makes it so much easier to actually press the button as you can see so this is the end of the video thank you for watching if you really like the video then make sure you give it a bit, give it a thumbs up and subscribe you know for more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.